What's up guys? This is uh, my review of the Pirelli MT21 knobby tires. They're 90% off-road, 10% street. Um, you know, this is the best view I could probably give you to describe what I've had happen with these tires. Basically, you can see the lug pattern. It goes from these two short ones here up to a single tall one, back down to the two small ones, back up to a big, down to the two small. This is the best angle that I can give you to show how the small ones have considerably worn down. Now, you know, the, the issue that I have is when I'm going down the street, this is a lot of vibration, you know, you can almost even hear it. It's like, it just, you know, it, you can feel it kind of pulling you, especially if the wind's blowing or anything like that. Um, you know, overall, these tires, don't get me wrong, they are uh, what I, I would describe for an off-road use. They're great. They do an excellent job off-road. Um, it's just that I happen to drive a lot of a lot of my miles on the street to get to where I'm going to go off-road to go enjoy the off-road you know areas. Um, but this is what's happened to me. You know, I got to say the rear tire, which I'm going to show you in a minute, the rear tire is held up much better. Um, I bought this bike uh, with 1,800 miles and right now I'm just at 4,000 miles so I have put 2,200 miles onto these bike, onto these uh, tires since I've owned the bike now they, these tires came with the bike so I don't know how many miles the person before me had put on them you know just from the looks of them I'd say they had done at least a couple hundred miles um, it could be a lot more than that or it could be less who knows but I know that I've done 2,200 miles with these tires alone um, you know, so I've gotten that that many miles out of them. I think that's pretty decent. They are a little bit expensive. I believe these tires are about a hundred dollars a piece uh, for the rear and the front. Um, so you know, it's a little bit pricey to only get two thousand miles or so. Again, I don't know how many miles the guy before me got, and I've also done a ton of street riding, which is uh, not exactly what these tires are designed for. But they do really good on the street for being knobbies. Um, I'm always confident going into the corners or the turns. I've never had any problem on the street for these for these being knobbies. Um, and they do great off-road. I have no complaints off-road. I'm going to spin around here, show you guys uh, the rear tire. This is my Kawasaki KLR250, by the way. I've already talked about these tires in, in that video, but I just want to do a quick one, just in case someone's more interested in the tires. Now these are the rear tires, there are the rear tire, um, it is great, I love the rear tire. I have not had, you know, the problem like on the front how I was describing, you know, all the lugs, they're the cons same consistent size, it has the same type of pattern where you have two, one, two, one, but you know, there's no, there's no wearing down on the, on the two, you know, they're all the same exact height, they're all very consistent, um, you know, this tire does great off-road and it is awesome on the road too for being you know for being a knobby again it's a 90 percent off-road 10 percent street spin around here see if i can get a better view all right now you know like i said these have had the same mileage that i know of i've put 2200 miles on them uh who knows how many the guy before me put on them and just now i'm starting to notice like you can see like that spot right there i'm starting to notice starting to notice these areas on on the lugs we're starting to chip away um, again you know I do I do a ton of street riding unfortunately so it's not exactly the best fair analysis of these tires but um, you know I'm very happy with the rear I love the rear actually I, I would consider getting this one again I'd probably get a different front tire but um, the rear one is awesome so anyways, there's the Pirelli MT21s on a KLR250. They're awesome off-road. They're really good on the street for being knobbies. And uh, yeah, if you can afford $100 a piece, do it. Um, you know, right now I've decided to go with some cheaper options. I've ordered a Michelin T63 for the back. And for the front, I've decided to go for a, um, a Shinko 244 Golden Boy. Uh, you know, those tires are a lot cheaper, they're supposedly not as good, and this and that, but uh, for the price point, that's what I've decided to do right now. 
and uh, you know I know how these perform I think they do pretty good the rear one is awesome the front one um, you know I always hear people say the front MT21 is great in my experience with the way that the lugs wear I haven't been as happy with it but uh, it does good off-road it does really good off-road actually on the street though you notice the vibration the rear I'm really happy with it on the street and it does great off-road so that's it thanks <laughs>